guys, Nikki Fit here, and welcome back to yet another workout. So today I am bringing you a push styled workout, which primarily focuses on our chest, shoulders, and triceps. At the end of this workout, there's also going to be a 16 minute core workout, so make sure you stay tuned for that. Now, equipment needs for today. We are gonna be using our blue booty band, and we are gonna need a heavy set of dumbbells and a light set of dumbbells. And that's it, my friends. All right, so let's get warmed up and let's do this thing. All right, my friends, welcome to your warm up. We're gonna go ahead and get this show on the road. So the first thing I want you to do is just take a nice big wide step out, take a nice big deep breath in, inhale, exhale, let it go one more time, big deep breath in. Inhale, exhale, hip hinge, dive forward. So you're gonna reach towards the ground, you're gonna keep your legs straight, and just heel to walk your feet out, and you're just gonna hang out here. So you're checking in with those hamstrings a little bit, just to see how they feel. You can sway side to side, you can fold your arms, you can drop your head, whatever works for you works for me. And then I just need you to find some stillness in the body, and you're gonna pivot around. You're gonna come into that high runner's lunge. We've all been here before, we know what to expect. You're driving that heel down. You're trying to leave your big toe connected. So the purpose of this workout is two things. We're gonna warm up the, our body, open up our hips, and also fire up that central nervous system. So we're gonna have some speed, agility, quickness movement in this workout. Switch legs for me. Boom, right here, just hold it down. Hold it down right here. Nice big stretch, you can breathe into this, you can move a little bit if you need to. It's really whatever works for you, works for me. Few more moments here. We are gonna take it back to the opposite side of the body and I'm gonna turn and I'm gonna face you. So I want you to switch and I want you to come down to your knee, put one foot forward, send your arms up to the sky. So we're on the opposite side of the body, you're gonna grab your wrist and you're gonna pull over the leg that is in front and just hold it here. So we're trying to open up that lat, open up that shoulder, at the same time trying to get a little bit deeper into our hip flexor. One more big breath. Perfect, let it go. All right, we're gonna switch. So step, same thing, big inhale up, push this hip forward. So check it, you're driving your hip forward, squeeze this booty cheek. Yeah, I know, it's an official word, right, booty cheek? There we go, reach it over, hold it, and breathe. Nice, really pulling with this opposite hand, right? Pulling this arm over. Nice three big breaths, let's go. One more. Awesome. All right, so all I'm gonna have you do is come over onto your hands, and we're gonna start by marching. We're just gonna march. Knees in, knees in, knees in. Nice and easy. Take your time. Good. Almost there. Four, three, two, one. Hold it here. Plank jacks, plank jacks. In and out, in and out. So just a little bit of cardio. Start to increase that heart rate. Hang in there, you can also tap out to the side if you don't wanna jump. There's always options if you don't wanna jump. Nice, four, three, two, one. Downward facing dog, everybody, hold it here. We're gonna wake up those glutes, let's go. Lift and lower down. Lift and lower down, take your time. Make sure you press your head through your arms. Squeeze those glutes hard at the top. Angle in, awesome work, good, four more, four, three, two, and one, awesome, so you're going to walk your hands up towards your feet, bend your knees slowly, roll it up, alright guys, speed skaters, here we go, side to side, side to side, ten, nine, eight, Seven, good. Six, come on. Five, four, three, two, one. Jumping jacks, go. Nine, ten. Here we go. Ten more skaters. Ten. Four, three, two, one. 
jumping jacks, go. 10, 8, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Take a moment, breathe. Reverse lunge, reach. Reverse lunge, reach. Same side of the body. Four more. Four, three, two, one. Switch, here we go, same thing. Reverse lunge, hamstring stretch. Reverse lunge, hamstring stretch. Good. Four to go. Four, three, two, and one. All right, skaters and jumping jacks. Two more rounds, go. Nice, go. 10, 8, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 10. Go. 10. Three, two, one. Last time. 10. This is it. Four, three, two, one. Awesome. All right. Get a sip of water. Awesome job with the warm up. Let's go on to the next phase. Let's work out. All right, my friends. Welcome to your push styled workout. So your push down workout is primarily going to be focusing on your chest, shoulders, and triceps. So the format is the same as it was for our pull day. All exercises are one minute in length with a 15 second recovery period, and there's three exercises in each block times three rounds. All right, guys, so we are gonna start this first block with our chair. Let's talk about our very first move. So we're gonna be doing a decline push up. You could be on your knees on maybe a couch or toes or on a book or whatever it might be, just something that your feet are elevated. You're gonna push up, and if you want a little bit more, you could do a glute raise or push up, and what I'm gonna coach us to do is to tap down. Push up, tap down. Now this could be a push up on your knees, if you don't have a chair, and then tap out. Push up, tap out, side to side, okay? All right, so you've seen some modifications. Second exercise, we're gonna have a seat, we're gonna grab our dumbbells, and we're gonna do an Arnold press, so it's seated, so we can't use momentum, super important. And then also too, after that, we're gonna do dips. So right here. If you don't wanna do dips, you could stand up to a kickback, overhead extension, whatever works for you, works for me, okay? All right, so we're gonna grab our timer and we are going to do this thing. So we've got eight seconds until we go. So we're gonna come on down to that push-up position. Remember, we're gonna tap down every time. Take your time, very important. Three, two, one, here we go. Navel in, lower down, push up, tap, up slow, push up, tap, up slow. So this is also gonna work your core when you extend that leg out to the side. Nice. Woo! Go slow. There. Ten seconds. Four, three, two. Woo OMG. I felt that. All right, have a seat in your chair. You can also do this standing. You can do this kneeling, Arnold press, palms face you. Three, two, one. Rotate. Open up. Remember the option, alternate. Always can go there. Nice. 30 seconds. Six. 
slow and control wins the race, guys. This month is all about going heavy, taking our time, really trying to challenge our muscle fibers, right? We're trying to create growth, stimulate muscle growth. More lean muscle you have, the higher your metabolism is, the more calories you'll burn every day just walking around at rest. Also too good to protect those joints and those bones, keeping them strong. All right, here we go. Dips, hands on the step, roll your shoulders back, feet are down, three, two, one, here we go. Down, inhale down, push up, inhale down. Push up. Good. two to go. All right, so we're going to go back to push-ups. Get ready to work. Three, two, one. Push up. Step down. Now I step too far back on my chair, so I need to scoot up a little bit so I don't kick my chair every time. Come on. Now we're getting the hard block out of the way first, if you ask me. Other blocks will be challenging, just in a different way. Come on. Good. These are the only push ups in the entire workout, though. So that's a great thing. Yes, me. Almost there. Three, two, woo! Oh my goodness. So we've got Arnold press, seated. Oh, it feels good. Stretch the shoulders out, thumbs go back. All right, here we go. Have a seat. Again. Rotate up, lower down. Rotate up, lower down. Good. Here's the 20. Woo! Halfway. Good. Awesome job. 10 seconds. Four, three, two, one. Awesome. Woo! All right. So we got dips in the house. Remember, you can do anything you want. We do a kickback, overhead extension, whatever works if this doesn't feel good for you. Here we go. Down and up. So it's all about the stretch and the press. Big push. Ah. Inhale down. Squeeze back of his arms. Not about how fast we go. So you can take breaks whenever you need to and come back in. Four, 
more round of these three exercises. So we're going back to push-ups. All right, gotta get tough, gotta get mean on this third round. I know it's gonna be a challenge. Ready? Tip toes on. Here we go. Push up first. Step. Do it again. on to our next block. All right, Ooh, shake it out. Here we go. Three, two, one, rock and roll, go. Come on, get low. Keep your back close to the step. As you get tired, you're gonna wanna creep out too. Where this happens, right? Let's try to keep your butt closed and go straight down. Push up. Woo! That being said, I need to take a break. Oh, see, you can take a break whenever you need it. The triceps are on fire. All right, here we go. 20 seconds left. Dumbbells with me. Three, 
three, rack them on your shoulders. Two, one, sit down, push. Thumbs face the back of the room the entire time. Good. Inhale down. Exhale. I'm going to turn sideways just so you guys can see. Light dumbbells, but I'm gonna go to one heavy dumbbell for our next move. It is a lunge. Woo! To a tricep extension. So I'm gonna grab my Y bell. I'm gonna step one foot forward. Dumbbells up. We're gonna lunge down and squeeze. 30 seconds a leg. Ready? Set. We go down. Squeeze. Down. Squeeze. Side view. Straighten those arms to the top. One more. Woo, switch sides. All right, same thing, opposite side of the body. Ready, go. Down, squeeze, navel in. Chest up, chin up. When we tend to do triceps, we tend to tuck our chest. So leave it open. We tend to tuck our chin to our chest, so lift the chin. Here we go, that's what I was trying to say. 10 seconds. Push, come on, you got it. Three, two, woo! All right, nice work. We're back down to our kneeling squat to overhead press, so come on down. Remember, our toes are down. Toes are down. We're gonna sit down into our heels. Grab them, here we go. Down, push. Down, squeeze the glutes, stay tall. Combo. Breathe. 
the arms around. All right, here we go. Kneeling, bring it. Side, front, side. Squeeze your glutes. Try not to swing your body. It's harder than you think it is. However you want to slice and dice this. So you can see that I'm going double side raise, and then I go front, front. You could also go side, side, front, front. It would go like this, side, side, front, front. It really depends on you, how you're feeling today, how your body feels from some of your other workouts. Ten seconds. Uh, four, three, two, woo! Awesome. All right, let's get those lunges going on, right? So this is our 30 second lunge on one side, overhead extension, 30 second on the other. All right, one foot forward, ready, go, down, Back up, and we've got 
our, our lunges to overhead extension. We go in four seconds. This is the end of block two, my friends. Ready, set, overhead, go. Drop down, push. Drive in that heel, push up. Switch, you already have it. Back in the arms, you feel it. Come on. 10 seconds, belly in, come on. Push, we all get water after this. Three, two, one. Nice work, guys. All right, get some water. Take a moment. We're gonna move on to our third and final block. So we are gonna grab our blue band for this block, and it's gonna go above our knees. So we're gonna start out with a chest press to a glute bridge. Then we're gonna do lying skull pressures. Then we're gonna stand up and do a deadlift to a kickback. And there's a squat in there too, and I'll show you what that looks like once we get there. So, band stay on the entire round. I am gonna be using my mediums, which are my 15s, and then I'm also gonna be using my nines. Excuse me, my smalls are my 15s, and my extra smalls are my nines. So, chest press heavy, skull crushers light. So let me grab my other, whew, medium dumbbell or small dumbbell. All right, so as you do the chest press, you're gonna glute bridge at the same time, okay? So, nine seconds, we roll back. You guys have been working out with me. You've seen this before, this is nothing new. Nothing you've never done. Ready, set, push up, lower down. Push, lower down, good, push. Good. workout you don't have to use it Squat down, squeeze the glutes, 
hip hinge deadlift, row the arms up, tricep kick back, straighten up, squat, hip hinge, row, kick back. Deadlift, kick back, stand up, squat it out, one squat, hip hinge, row, tricep kick back, stand up, do it again, squat first, Get it. 
So once again, we've got four exercises in block one that we're going to go through. 50 seconds in length. Take your time. Nice. Really try to get those shoulders off the mat every time. we got about 20 seconds left in this move. Push your head through your arms, and control all the way back down. Nice. 
Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Come on. Woo, my tummy's feeling it already. So side planks are going to be one minute on one side, or 50 seconds on one side, 50 seconds on the other. So that's how we get our four. All right, so we're going to start Pilates 100. So you're going to come into tabletop, reverse. So knees or thighs are perpendicular to the floor. Hips are bent 90 degrees. Knees are bent 90 degrees. We're going to round up, tuck our chin, and push, push down. May or may not get to 100, but uh, we're going to go for the 50 second time length. Okay, so the first two exercises are down here on our back. Once again, thighs perpendicular to the floor, round that spine up, go. Really try to hold that belly in. Follow your fingertips all the way underneath you. 
and then all the way back up to the sky. Hang in there 15 seconds. Almost there. Four, three, two, beautiful. All right, I'm gonna switch sides. All you need to do is roll over. Now I've doubled my mat just for a little bit of extra cushion. You can do the same thing. Three, two, one. So get set, elbow underneath shoulder, find stability, and then once you're there, you can stack your feet. Once again, this lower oblique is what we're trying to focus on. Breathe. Navel also pulls in and out away or towards the spine. Nice. All right, ready? Add that rotation. Fingertips follow. All the way up. Round. Nice work, come on. Ah. Three, two, oh, beautiful. All right, my friends, we start over. Pilates, 100 in the house. The reverse crunches, here we go. Knees bent 90 degrees. Hands out, round up, tuck the chin, go. Come on, come on. Push, push, push. Straight arms, lots of energy. Halfway team. I know those tummies are starting to burn. You can do it. Make sure those knees don't creep up towards your chest. Keep them away from you. 15. Come on, push, push, push. Five seconds, we got this. Four, three, two, one. Woo, recover. All right, hands are going behind our bums, right? Ah. Knees are bent, tap your heels, reverse crunch. Round the pelvis up, ready, go. Round it up, lower down. Tap it around, lower down, good. Tap it around. Anytime you want to do that, you can, then you can step right back. All right, here we go, we're halfway. Eyes, 
follow the fingertips. Very important that we're looking at our hand as it comes underneath. It's gonna make sure we get that full rotation because you wanna be able to drop that shoulder. And there we go, and lift that hip. You got about 10 seconds, team. Almost there, almost there. Four, three, two, one, and time. Well, awesome job, guys, round of applause. You guys did fantastic. Take a moment, oh, take a sip of water. If you guys are watching this on YouTube, thank you guys so much for checking this out. Make sure you subscribe to my channel, give this video a thumbs up and hit that bell icon so you get an alert every time I post a new workout or a nutrition video. You guys, some of you, the cool down is next. If not, I'll see you guys next time. Have a great day, team. Awesome job on your workout today, friends. We are going to cool it down. All right, so we're gonna start on our mat, and I just want you to come into child's pose. So toes touch together, heels and knees fall apart, fingertips walk out far and away from you, and I just want you to hold it here. So as you walk your fingertips away from you, try to grip the ground and push your hips back and find that stretch in your chest and in your shoulders. Just breathe. And then walk your hands over to one side, stack your hands on top of one another, push yourself down and away, try to find the stretch in those lats. And then walk your hands over to the next side, same thing. downward facing dog. You're just gonna hang out here for a moment, drive your heels down towards the floor, look for the stretch in the back of the thighs. Now we're gonna do one of my favorite stretches of all time. You're gonna bring your feet closer together, lift one leg up. Once it's there, lift your heel, fall back behind you and hold, opening up that hip. And then switch. Inhale the leg up, exhale it over, hold. And lower that back down. Walk yourself into a high plank. Have that foot off the ground still. I'm gonna swing it up in the air, swing it underneath my torso, and I'm gonna find a pigeon pose. So I'm gonna to try to get my opposite hand as close as I can to the opposite foot, or opposite foot as close as I can to the opposite hand. Everybody's gonna be a little bit different. And then we're just gonna hang out here for about 20 to 30 seconds. We're gonna let the weight of our body stretch out our hip. So you can be on your forearms if you want to make your way down to the ground. You can also do that. Just depends on your flexibility level. Slowly make your way out of that. Take a little moment. You can take a little back bend. Put your hands down on the floor, tuck the back toe under, opposite leg, sweep it up in the air, bring it underneath. Take a minute to hold it here. Started. We're going to sway side to side, paint the ground with our fingertips, let those hamstrings loosen a little bit. We're going to bend the knees, we're going to slowly roll it up, round the spine up, roll the shoulders back. I'm going to take a little step forward, I'm going to grab the top of my shoe, pull my heel in towards my bum, quad stretch. 
You guys did so good today. Awesome job. Now remember, anytime you strength train, you want to get in liquid protein in your system. Call it 20 to 30 minutes. No longer than that. I would prefer you do it immediately after you work out. Switch. And the reason is your body is looking for tools to repair the muscle fibers you just damaged. So yes, it sounds kind of like, oh, we damaged ourselves, but that's what we're trying to do when we strength train. We're trying to tear down muscle fibers so our body will build them back stronger. And when that happens, it increases our overall lean mass. And when that happens, guess what? It increases your metabolism, which means you burn more calories every day at rest. So without having to do any extra added exercise, you get to burn more calories once you start putting on a little bit of muscle. All right, so remember, 20 to 30 minutes, make sure you get your liquid protein in. Also too, water, minimum, at minimum, 80 ounces a day, if not a gallon, okay? All right guys, take a nice big deep breath in. Most important thing we do each and every day is we give ourselves love in some sort of way, so reach out wide, give yourself a big hug. You guys did awesome today. Thank you guys so much as always for being part of this community. If you enjoyed this workout, please share these with friends and family. More the merrier. And uh, it's going to be a great year in 2021. Sending lots of mad love and energy out to you for your week. Be good. Take care. And I'll see you guys next workout.